Hello guys, welcome back to Living Candidly. I hope you guys have been well. I hope you guys have been doing amazing. Um, today, recently, I saw... Actually, I realized I haven't talked about spiritual bypassing. Um, and I actually saw someone post this in Discord. I'm in a spiritual um, chat or I guess a... Yeah, spiritual discord about spirituality and I wanted to come on here to get my own perspective on spiritual bypassing so basically spiritual bypassing is literally you know all these new age spiritual terms are you know grounding classic records crystals um, reiki healing um you're just you're using all of these spiritual concepts to avoid healing unresolved traumas um dealing with your emotional wounds your psychological wounds really dealing with yourself it's kind of like toxic positivity you basically are not really doing the work <laughs> you're kind of just like i need to just be positive positive the universe is gonna bless me you know spirit or source or whoever it is that you call that you believe into um is going to help me you know i'm good i'm great look i got my crystals i wish i could pull out some crystals for you guys but i don't have it on me right now but i have my crystals i got um a necklace that's for the book with the angel numbers you know if i look out for an angel number i know i'm okay right you know you're not really doing the inner work you're not doing the shadow work you're not really sitting with yourself you're saying you're doing it but you're not and when it's time to really sit with what you're feeling and your emotions you're basically bypassing your own journey your own evolution your own extension by well, I'm going to go to crystals. I'm just going to get a little Reiki done, you know, and I'm not going to do anything to kind of keep it, you know, keep my chakras open. I'm going to, you know, go to the spiritual retreat and stuff, you know, and be there for a week or however long the event is. And, you know, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to do everything they tell me to do. And then right when I get out, I'm going to go back to, I'm a crystal girl. You know, I come in with my sage, my palo santo. I'm just very like, <sighs> toxic positivity. I'm so happy. Nothing's going wrong in my life, you know. Um, yes, I do have unresolved traumas, but no, I'm not going to acknowledge those or I'm not going to do the work. Basically, spiritual bypassing is basically you're using every spiritual concept to avoid your shit to avoid healing your shit and spiritual bypassing doesn't help you it's it 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 literally hinders you it literally holds you back like it literally you're doing all of this bypassing right you're thinking you can do a quick fix to fix yourself right you think you can go get um I don't know i'm gonna say hypnosis i don't know if you guys ever heard but there are people that really do stuff like that um i'm gonna get a reiki done i'm gonna be so great you know just because it's reiki i'm doing great you know i don't need to do anything else right um <laughs> i'm gonna go to a shaman i'm gonna get healing from a shaman i'm gonna sit with spiritual advisors and i'm gonna constantly go back and get advice and i'm not gonna do what they tell me to do or what spirit is recommending that i do during this time because you're not you don't you're just not doing what you're supposed to no one is saying that spiritual healers spiritual teachers um tarot readings astrology you're probably using astrology too as an excuse to you know i've i've met people especially in the spiritual community and just in general who usually use their uh astrology sign to excuse their behavior oh because i'm a gemini this just gives me every reason to be how i am you know because this is my life path number this gives me a reason to be however i want to be right you know i'm i'm experiencing hardships because of you know my leo moon or um <laughs> my cap my capricorn right like i'm a capricorn moon i'm a craze i'm a pisces whatever it is you're using all of these words because you don't really want to deal with the real shit that's going on inside of you. You don't want to really sit with those uncomfortable emotions. Sit with those wounds that really need to be addressed. 
that you really need to sit with and feel everything that you're feeling you are bypassing all the real shit you're supposed to be working on and the question is why why are you so afraid of addressing what needs to be addressed maybe dive into why you're so uncomfortable with addressing your wounds um addressing your emotional your trauma your past why don't you want to do that when you can get to a clear conclusion as to why you're spiritually bypassing your work that you're supposed to be doing on yourself and you can actually sit with that and understand that is like the major first step in really coming to the realization that you're basically self-sabotaging too at this point that's literally what you're doing you're using every word in the book i like <laughs> you're just very like i'm fine i'm fine i don't need to do anything i'm good the universe has got my back they only got your back if you actually put the work in you have to put some type of effort into the things you want to manifest right you have to put the effort into the work on yourself so it actually manifests it um <laughs> manifests into your reality it's there right so how to spirit how to stop spiritually bypassing is literally just owning your shit really start to do shadow work i mean really do shadow work don't say oh i'm oh i'm doing shadow work yeah i'm doing shadow work you know i did like a couple last week in reality you didn't do shit you didn't do anything excuse my french but you didn't do anything right so stop saying the stuff you're gonna the stop lying to yourself actually stop saying yeah i'm doing so and so and so right i'm doing all of these things in reality you're not you're you're coming off a fraud you look like <laughs> there are people that i feel like that are they they're following this spiritual trend like the spirituality this new age spirituality trend and they're not really about it they're really just doing it because everybody else is doing it they're not really authentic they're just doing it because everybody else is doing it and i don't want to personally be around people like that when i say i'm spiritual i'm spiritual i'm doing the work i'm deep into my galactic family all of those things like i'm actually doing the work i'm not sitting here kicking and laughing and saying oh no you know i'm not doing any work and i would prove i would be honest and say that like you know i started doing shadow work deeply last year i would say i was probably one of those people back in 2019 2020 who actually did it who was always going around kind of like you know yeah i'm doing it but also at that time i wasn't even into journaling so there were people out there that literally say you know they're all of these things but they really don't be doing the stuff that they're preaching about right so you have to really do the work stop avoiding your own trauma stop avoiding your own healing you're slowing down your process of growth of magnitudes of growth you're slowing yourself down and this video is just to tell you to stop doing that stop doing it we see through your 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 facade right for i always always say it wrong right but we see through it all if somebody else doesn't see it then um that's just them but i see through right <laughs> um spiritual bypassing isn't helping you it's it's, it's basically <laughs> i'm stuttering right it, it, it's basically um you're just basically lying to yourself and you're avoiding the work that you really need to do and toxic positivity and just you know being so positive everything's gonna work out yet you're not doing anything to actually bring that into your reality you're just like Oh, I'm so always so happy. Life is just so amazing. You know, it's so great. You're kind of like putting this fake little act on out in public, but in reality, behind closed doors, you're over there crying. You're breaking down. So, do you really want a spiritual bypass, or do you want to spiritually evolve? Do you really want to do the inner work, or you want to just bypass the inner work? What is it that you want to do? I mean, what is it? So all to say is that this video is just to talk about spiritual bypassing and why it doesn't help you. 
<laughs> and you have to get real about how you feel and you have to feel your emotions you have to sit with the uncomfortable feelings the wounds that maybe you have kind of put band-aids over but it's still i know this is a little gross but it's still trying to come out the band-aid keeps falling off you put more band-aids on top of it because you think it's gonna help it's gonna help it's not because eventually guess what you're gonna be doing something and it's gonna come off because it's about time you start to address what you're going through it's about time you stop all that capping online and get real about how you feel it's time there's no more excuses for you to do it's time you really start to step into your being and really so those uncomfortable emotions cry it out journal be freaking real don't get online and say you know i'm doing all of this work and you're not you might you might can lie to everybody else out here but when you go behind closed doors and there's no one with you guess what you're left with yourself so feel your emotions and stop the bypassing okay <laughs> that's it that's simple that's all that's all i wanted to say to get on here but i hope that this video helped you in some type of way um and i'm so excited uh to tell you guys that our first three key video is coming soon i haven't started yet but i We'll be doing it soon. Just gotta charge the crystals and everything. But <laughs> um, I'm so excited. So anyways, until our next video, I will see you beautiful souls later. Bye.